Hey everybody, welcome to First Shot, First Impressions. That's exactly what you're gonna get out of me today with the Walder PPQ SC LE version. I got 25 rounds loaded up in all three mags that come in the LE version. I did a total unboxing video. In the regular version, you'll just get flat base and you'll get the 15 rounder with the mag sleeve. Law enforcement gets an extra 10 rounder with a pinky extension already on it. I'm gonna start from big mag to medium mag to little mag uh, because my pinky dangle is on this to give the pistol a bit of a fair shake uh, and um, you know accuracy wise I am cold I already filmed the video I may not do the best that's on the shooter not the pistol we know PPQs are super accurate guys I am at range guns and safes want to give them a shout out if you're in Atlanta they got two locations check out range guns and safes and guys also Bravo concealment I always use their holsters. I feel great with their holsters. I mostly use outside the waistband, but then I get home, I take it out carefully, I put it in an inside waistband, under the pillow, on the counter, wherever it needs to be. Um, I can throw it at the inside waistband it has two very good clips um, for good retention, even in like athletic pants, guys, when something goes bump in the night and you need to check it out. So hopefully they'll be sending me holsters and I'll do a total review. Hopefully I will get holsters for this PPQ SC from them uh, in the near future and I will totally review that. I think that will be a great combo. Hopefully it works out. So let's get to it. First shot, first impressions with the Valter PPQ SC. Throw that down at seven yards. This is a very small target. That's not a full body target guys. So no, they're not all gonna be in the X. All right. All right, first shot, first impressions, and I don't need to Check out grappling and MMA and combatives and learn how to fight, defend yourself, even uh, CCW carriers out there. If you can't retain your deadly weapon, it may be used against you. You need to learn how to fight empty handed uh, as well. All right, here we go. Very first shot. Now, in case the jams or anything was a little wet when I got it, I've kind of wiped it down and I added some uh, basically some CLP type stuff to the rails. So hopefully it's not over lubed, hopefully it's not under lubed, hopefully it's good to go. Well that works. I love you all there. Holy shit, I love you all there. Not bad for first shots. I'm going to keep this group going, even though I know I'm aiming a little low. Well, hey, for the first five shots, let's check that out. Well, a touching grouping of the first five shots through a pistol, that makes me very happy. All right, that shooter error a little bit low and left. Like I said, I'm cold. But, uh, wow, I'm okay with that. That's a very good thing. I'm going to put it out there again, see if I can hit that Bravo Concealment T pose I use there for the eye and nose area to get that central nervous system. This is not a full size target, so I'm just going to see if I can get a headshot there. It might be a little off camera, uh, but I'll, I'll show you in a second. Back a little bit farther. All right. Well, the recoil is not bad at this at all. So they have changed the slide rate and the lockup times, I believe, and they've taken, you know, because they've taken so much mass out of the slide. The pistol. Right, so there's five more. I was cooking at a good pace there. Let's see. How oh, those headshots look? Oh my god. Wow, this thing's a shooter. It's easy. That is not bad considering those last couple were fairly decent. 
and I'm all there on my Bravo Consumer Tea that I like to uh, aim for that central nervous system on. I use their stickers sometimes. Something good to do, guys. When he uh, sends you the holster, sends you out a few stickers, something good to do. Well, this first mag's going good. Should we go over here? Now that'll be off the camera. Let me change. So far, loving it. I got five more in the big mag. Uh, with the big mag, recoil was not a problem. And guys, this is hot stuff. This is 1,235 feet per second. You know, actually, not like uh, labeled 1150, but it's really 1100 or under. SMB is the hottest stuff that is cheap to shoot, that is similar to the plus P that I actually would carry. In this pistol, I would definitely shoot either 124 grain plus P HST, 124 grain plus P Golden Saber Bonded, or Golden Saber Bonded Black Belt. Those would be my recommendations for civilians. If you were law enforcement, if you thought you might have to shoot through barriers, and that's more important than uh, like, like gel or four layer clothing performance, which HSPs and Golden Saber do better, guys, um, then, then maybe Gold Dots, 124 plus P, because it's three and a half inch barrel and it's polygonal, so it's also a little added velocity there. You'll probably get good results from this pistol quite well with those ample recommendations. I did a vivid video on recommended 9mm for cure ammo and on ballistics in general. If you want to learn about handgun ballistics and all the best resources to really look into it, guys, you might want to check those videos out. Um, rounds 11 through 15 center mass out of the PPQ SC with the 15 round mag. So I got a full hand grip on it and here we go. center mass, just a tiny bit left. That's me. Oh, but look at that. Three out of those five are very well centered. That ain't bad. That I could do a little bit better at. Uh, but that was me. So guys, that's with the full mag. I probably should have done some double taps, fast five with the full mag. Let's see, I think I could still pull it off fairly well with the pinky extender. So I'm gonna leave those five in. We're gonna do at least another five there, guys on the same target. Let's see what I can do with the uh, pinky mag. So I got 10 rounds in beak, I think, instead of pure accuracy. The recoil, wow, it, this thing really isn't um, bad. I feel even more recoil with my five inch PPQ, it seems. Let's see how that turns out. Okay, switching mags. Ten rounder with pinky extension that comes with the LE version, or you could get the pinky extender by the magazine separate, I believe. Dropping the slide, stop. There you go. Wow. With the pinky extender, no, no problem. Uh, so there was a pretty quick motion beep there. It's only for yards, but you see, I'm getting work done with a new pistol in my hand. Bad. Okay, let's move that back to say five yards. And what should we do? Should we just do some slow headshots? Let's do some slow headshots. Let's see what we can get. Our moderate speed. Very impressed so far. Very impressed with the feel. The trigger is always. Um, and the trigger makes a little bit different sound than my 5 inch, which is weird. I don't know if there's, uh, I didn't think there was any redesign about that at all. Um, I wonder if it's just, uh, if that is anything or not. Maybe someone on wall there could let me know. One of you engineers out there. Okay, let's do some, a couple, say three headshots. Those are moderate speed. Obviously, if I'm going slow fire for total accuracy, it may even be better, but hey, I'll take that three string right there. That ain't bad. Um, wow, 
I'm surprised how controllable it is. I usually don't have a problem with recoil at all, but guys, it is 20.2 ounces. This is a very, very light uh, pistol, which will be great for carry every day so my hip stops hurting as bad. And we're in the front pocket. So, well, let's bring it back. How many do I got left? Let's see, three, six, I should have four left. This will do a fast four at five yards. Should be ready. Oh, all in there. Acceptable combat accuracy. Um, those are probably uh, 16 splits, maybe. Maybe 18. I don't want a little though. Well, they're all in there. I, I stitched them. I would like to stitch a little closer to the spine. That's me today shooting a little left. Cold shooter, basically. Um, but as you see, guys, here, first shot, first impressions. I'm very happy with this. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Let's do 10 more. I'm going to change the targets. Bear with that little bit of. So we never drop the knife. Drop the knife. Slide black back on all these three mags. All three mags function flawlessly. That's the seven yards. That's with the smallest mag. And look, well, so it's very uh, controllable. This is with the hottest ammo you can buy. This would be 115 or 124. I mean, pretty much. Other than Spear Lawman, um, it's it's hotter than the Federal. I didn't want to break in this pistol with the Federal because I've had uh, two problems with the brass. I've never had problems with the aluminum, which is weird. And the new cheaper packs of the brass, I've had two problems thus far. Uh, plus, I think European guns, especially European pistols, need to be broken in with hot European ammo because, you know, that's what they're designed for. And especially when a, a spring and a slide is still very stiff, hasn't been worked out. When people review a new pistol with, and they limp wrist, they have bad technique, and they review it with like Winchester White Box or something like that, and then it jams, and they didn't clean it first. This I did semi-cleaning and re-lube on. I usually do a full. Um, you know, and then it jams, then, you know, that's not the pistol's fault. That's a bad reviewer. So, uh, well, guys, the thing's an easy shooter. It makes you look uh, pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm not a great shooter. I'm a pretty good shooter. I'm not the fastest shooter. I'm a fairly fast shooter. Uh, but I'm not, you know, not a competitor. Though, guys, I think you hit this very range that I'm at, guns, ranges, and safes in Atlanta, they've got, is it USPSA, whatever, Practical Pistol Shooting Association, something like that. Uh, Tuesday nights, I'm going to be running and gunning. I uh, will be doing a lot of that with my 5-inch. Once I get some holsters in, hopefully from Bravo Concealment can uh, hook me up, get me those to test and evaluate for you guys. I'm going to put this through its paces, even though this isn't like a competition sized gun. Um, I, I definitely will do a run with it. I hope you guys will find that interesting. So I think most people would probably carry this pissed off. That way, which feel, I have extra large hands with the pinky extender, um, you could get away with that if you're really worried about printing pretty well, I think. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do it in a holster if I can get a proper DeSantis or Romero or something like that for it. Well, there, if you are listening, though, and I know you watched my other video, can we get a 12-round mag? Can we really put the support into this and put a 12 round mag? I think people would really love a 12 round mag because this space that we need, I would love there to be two more rounds there. That's unused space really. I would love there to be two more rounds there. Even like a HK copycat, little chunky, uh, bigger is the camera with a 13 rounder. So the 99C mags could be modified with a Macar base. It took a little modifications, but it could be done. Here it can't. Um, that anyone knows of yet. So Walter, if you could come out with a 12 round mag, send me the first one, I'll beta test it for you. 
that would be amazing. But overall, guys, especially the LE that comes with all three mag, I love, you know, you know, based on your clothing, your type, a pocket, not, hip, outside, inside, skinny, fat, whatever. Having a gun that comes with magazine size options, that's really the way to go. Not everyone's CCW is so popular, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Please subscribe to my channel. Not only for firearm stuff, but again, I got MMA, catch wrestling, self-defense, all kinds of stuff. Jiu-Jitsu, Rock Keto, normally Keto World now, 52, all kinds of stuff. You guys subscribe and I'll catch you on the flip side.